Good morning, everyone. It's August 19th, 2024, and this is FSD Supervised 12.5.1.3 on our new 2024 Model 3 with Hardware 4. So this is test loop one. Let's see how it does. So far, it's doing better speed control. Usually, it would be doing about 33 and in going a little fast in the residential right area. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, it is all clear to the left. That was nice. Again, excellent speed control, doing a little over the speed limit, but not an excessive amount. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Now turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. needs to creep a bit for us to see there is a car coming it could go if it goes yep wow that was a much faster decision usually it would wait for that car that was coming but it was safe okay it's not merging properly interestingly it merged properly last night when I did this test loop but today this morning it didn't do a proper merge in my books it should use the turn signal because our lane is ending and it's changing lanes In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Ben's Road. Now turn left onto Ben's Road. So Ben's Road, they're paving it. Uh, last night, the speed bumps were gone. Uh, they're still gone. Be curious to see if they bring them back for testing on this route but so the speed bumps are no longer part of this test loop um, but I have another one I can add to my test campaign to see how they do with speed bumps nice stop and resume at a clear stop Nice and smooth with all applications of acceleration and deceleration. In 500 feet, turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. So really curious to see how this left turn onto Copper Hill does. Uh, last night, it did not pull into the suicide lane. It did a proper left turn. And it actually proceeded with a car coming from the left. And it was safe to go, but previously it never would have gone with that car there. Now turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. So let's see. Still stops a little far back because the sign is back from the line. So it does need to creep. Okay, so I've got a car coming from the right. It's clear to the left for a little bit. Okay, there's a car coming from the left. No, it should wait. So more cars from the right, another car from the left. Okay, so after this car, one more from the right, it should go now. Beautiful. Okay, now, perfect, into the correct lane. There we go, so that issue has been resolved. Speed issue here is still happening. It should be going 45. I gotta check the map layer and see what's going on. It should see that sign in a sec here. Come on, there it goes. I'm just 
was canceling that, it's because it was trying to take another route and I just cancel it. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Haskell Canyon Road. Now turn left onto Haskell Canyon Road. Nice early turn signal application to let the person behind me know I'm slowing to make the left turn. This could be interesting. They're doing line painting. didn't quite hit the line thankfully <laughs> the fresh paint I don't know if it's gonna pass let's see what this does holy crap it's gonna pass okay that's impressive it used the suicide lane to pass the slow moving construction vehicle like all the other cars were doing I'm extremely impressed with that no intervention required there I'd like to see it speed up a little bit. It's keeping a safe distance, and that car appears to be doing about the same speed, so it's fine. Wow, lots of uh, edge cases on today's test loop. That is a pile of garbage. Handling it well, it's keeping left turn signal on to let people know we're moving over, which is excellent. Wow, another excellent uh, edge case handled extremely well by FSD supervised 12.5.1.3. Uh, sorry about the mix up of my words there. Beautiful deceleration.
slow here. That's interesting. It took that really cautiously, but it completed it successfully without an intervention. I was just going to say it's leaving the lane change late, later than usual, but it's fine. I decided just as I was mentioning it. Okay, no traffic, it should just smoothly turn in here. There we go. FSD supervised 12.5.1.3 on test loop one with two edge cases, zero interventions, zero disengagements. Very nicely done. 